In this video, I'm going to show you how to do Fear, the Deathbed Companions quest line. This also unlocks an alternative ending to the game when you defeat the final boss. If you follow along with me on the screen here at the round table hold, you'll be able to find Fear, the Deathbed Companion, who will let you cuddle her or like hug her or like you do cuddle buddy stuff. Now, one thing you should know is that when you cuddle Fear when she holds you, she will actually debuff you. She will give you a debuff to your health bar that removes your health by 5%. And you'll also get an item called Boulder Chin's Blessing, which is an item in your inventory. Now, when you navigate to this item and you use it, it will actually cure that 5% health debuff. So it will give you your health back, as well as giving you a temporary boost to poise. This allows you to take more hits without getting interrupted. And now we're going to go find D, the Hunter of the Dead. And he'll be located over here in Limgrave. Right after you cross the bridge, there will be kind of all these gravestones, and after the gravestones, you'll find D over here over a dead body talking, and you can speak to him. He'll warn you about the village that is just towards your east, and you'll go there and you'll fight a little kind of like a mini boss. It will be that kind of pinkish, purplish enemy that's kind of in a boat rowing around. You'll have to defeat him, and once you defeat him, you'll be able to speak to D yet again. He'll be located by this thing here on the western side of the village where you first entered. You'll speak to him, finish all of his dialogue, and then he will move to the round table hold. Now with D at the round table hold, you need to get the inverted statue from Ronnie's questline. Now Ronnie's questline takes place in the higher area, the northern area of Liernia. And this is where you'll find Ronnie and Ronnie's questline's beginning. So to do her questline, there is a video on the screen right now to show you how to do her complete questline. You need to basically get the inverted statue. And obviously this requires you to beat General Scarscourge Radon and make your way over to Nokron, the Eternal City. Of course, when you get here, you just follow along this giant bridge and you take this path over here to get to the Ancestral Woods uh, Site of Grace located right over here. And then you're going to parkour down to the south like this to get to this place here and then move on to the Knight's Sacred Ground to get a special dagger for Ronnie. And once you have it, you can go back to Ronnie's Rise to Ronnie herself and give her the dagger and she'll basically give you an item called the Inverted Statue. The Inverted Statue is an item that we're going to be using at a very specific place to kind of do some cool stuff. So at this location over here to the right of Raya Lucaria Academy, as you can see on the map where we are right now, we're going to this place over here. From the outside, it looks like these giant buildings with the tower on the end over here. So when you get here, you're going to go into this building, this entrance over here, and you're going to go to this pedestal just behind the Site of Grace. And this is where you're going to be placing the inverted statue. And this is going to basically flip the tower upside down, which is very cool. Now from here, you're going to follow this path that I'm going to take here. I'm just speeding this up a little bit so you can follow along. This is the route that you're going to be taking. There are some enemies you need to watch out for. You're just basically going to progress down to the bottom area of this upside down tower, which is basically along this path over here. So just keep going along here. There are just, you know, some enemies that you should be careful of. We are going to go around this corner over here and you'll see if we go down this ledge over here to the opposite side of where we came in from, you'll see we can jump onto these like like light fixtures or, or whatever we can call these and then jump down onto the wooden beam here and then onto this wooden beam and then down onto the elevator that you're going to take. Of course, when the elevator stops, you will see an upside down door. You're going to head towards this door and you're going to open it and go through. When you exit the door, you'll see there is a giant bridge, and on this bridge, there is a little mini boss that is going to spawn about halfway through, so you can also skip it if you don't want to fight it, and run to the giant tower at the opposite end. Now all you have to do is make your way to the top of the tower, and you'll see there is a body here that is scorched, and I believe this actually might be Godwin himself. And next to this body, there'll be an item that you pick up called the Curse Mark of Death. Interesting. And now you're going to return to the round table hold and you're going to basically hug Fia a few times until she gives you the option to talk in secret. And when you do get this option to talk in secret, you will get an item called the Weathered Dagger. Once you have the dagger, you can return to D from the beginning of the video and basically give him the dagger. When you use his options or his speech things, you might have to do some of his quest lines, but he should have the option to give him the Weathered Dagger. Once you've given D the weather dagger, you're going to reset at a sign of grace or just fast travel back here. And you're going to go this route over here. Instead of into Fia's room, you'll see along this path over here, there is now a door that is open at the very distance over here. Now, this is towards the end of the game. I don't actually have footage of this right now. You'll see in this room, there will be a body lying down over here and there will be Fia lying next to this body. And from this body, you'll also be able to pick up a complete armor set. And now we're going to go find Dee's younger brother at the Ancestral Woods Site of Grace in Nokron, the Eternal City in Siofra River. Now the location where we're going is towards this northern side right over here. So I'm going to speed this up to show you where we're heading. 
So you'll see from the side of Grace, if we head directly towards the north over here, past this little, little temple structure on the left over here, follow the jellyfish. This means you're on the right path. And then just behind the jellyfish, there is a jump downwards here that you might not have noticed in the in like one of your playthroughs if you haven't been to this area yet. And basically we're just progressing along this area until we get to these kind of like floating structures. They're, they're, they're not really floating. They're just like connected in a really weird way. The Sofria Aqueduct is what this called. And you'll see from here, we're gonna go along up these stairs and across this room and then to the left over here immediately up down this chamber past the waterfall to the right and you will see over here basically where I'm standing over here on the map right now this is where you'll find Dee's younger brother and he'll just be sitting over here like moping around and stuff so you will have the option of giving Dee's younger brother an armor set now it's up to you whether you give him the armor set or not you can decide not to if you want to keep the armor yourself you do not get it back if you do give it though I should mention, if you do give the armor to him, fear is going to die at the end, but this doesn't affect the ending of the game. Now, as you progress further into the game here, we're gonna be going to the deep root depths. Now, this is a different underground area, and to get there, you will need to defeat the two bosses that are gonna be fighting you in this kind of like big open waterfall basin area. So good luck with that. Once you do defeat these two bosses, you will see there is a coffin that is open here on the western side. And once you go rest in this coffin, it will teleport you to the deep root depths. And this is where we need to be. From here, this is the path you're going to take. So you can just follow along with me here. I'm going to show you exactly where to get the map fragment first. So you can see how to unlock this map and then also where we go to find Fia in her final location. So it's quite simple. You just have to run along these paths here using your horse torrent. It's going to be the best way to just park her across here. Here you'll get to like a kind of like abandoned weird city. And you'll see this building over here is where you'll find the map fragments right in the middle of that little circle building. But for now, we're going to the left over here and we're going up this kind of like tree trunk or tree branch. And we're gonna go along this path up here and we're gonna progress up the tree. Now be careful of these gargoyles that shoot fire. So you wanna run fast. And we're gonna go along this path all the way up here, not to this point over here. You wanna run back down and then jump onto this section over here where there's this like giant tower. And then from here, you're just gonna go down here. There is a site of grace. You can actually jump on and farm some of these gargoyles for a lot of runes quite early on when you get to this area. But that's not our main focus. Our main focus is this giant hole in the wall over here. And when you go in here and you get towards the end, you will fight Fia's champions and you'll do kind of like a small little boss kind of thing. After that fight is over, you'll be able to find Fia sitting in the background over here and you can basically talk to her and let her hold you for like a final time. And this is where you can talk in secret and you can give her the curse mark of the death and she'll basically tell you what she's gonna do. You can now then go sit at the site of grace to reset or just refast travel back to this location. And when you go near her body, you'll be able to get the option to enter a deathbed dream. Now this is a boss fight, a final boss fight. And if you do beat this boss, you will get the mending rune of the death prince. And once you have this, you will have unlocked the ending for Fear the Deathbed Companions kind of like ending to the story of Elden Ring. Of course, you will still have to defeat all the major bosses in the storyline until the end so you can watch that ending cutscene. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.